It will take some time for us to learn the full details of the attacks last week, but the basic facts are now clear. Seventeen innocent people were murdered in cold blood, and a number of others were injured. Amadi Koulibaly, the terrorist who attacked the Jewish supermarket, claimed his actions were carried out in the name of ISIL. Unconfirmed reports suggest that Sharif and Syed Kouachi, the two brothers who attacked the office of Charlie Hebdo, were associated with al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula in Yemen, the same al-Qaeda affiliate that had been in contact with the men who murdered fusilier Lee Rigby in 2013. As the appalling events in Paris were unfolding, this House was debating the Government's counter-terrorism and security bill and the threat level in the United Kingdom, which is set by the Independent Joint Terrorism Analysis Centre and remains at severe. This means that a terrorist attack in our country is highly likely and could occur without warning.